so these bricks are all that stands between us and uh, insect <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's very advanced technology, isn't it, that works. So when you visit a museum, you may wonder at times how we actually end up with the skeletons or the skulls that you see on display. And at least at the QV Mag, the secret is all happens in the basement. Ready to install? Yes. Well, welcome to the Queen Victoria Museum and Art Gallery's basement at Royal Park. And this is where the natural sciences have their laboratory and a lot of their collection area. And this is where a lot of the work's done, the real work's done, adding specimens to the collections and preparing the specimens. And one thing um, particularly to, we're going to look at today is all about the beetle colony. And they're actually called domestic beetles, or another common name is museum beetles. Now in this one here, we've got to do some work with preparing fish skeletons. And you can see here, what a wonderful job they've been doing. Yeah. They, they really do like fish. They do have a preference for some material and fish is something they do really enjoy getting into. This one. Might like this one here. I've just got some specimens out here, just examples of the finished product. We've got something like a little little finch skeleton. You can see how tiny that is. That was that's been cleaned by the by the beetles. And going right up in size, oh, they'll just clean anything. You've got um, kangaroo skulls, and there's even an alpaca. We've had a donkey being cleaned by the domestics. So you can go from the tiny things right up to the large, large animals. So they're not fussy, they'll basically eat anything we give them. In the beetle room, we, we, we refer to them as our beetle pets, you know, they, they, they're our friends, they're our unpaid museum workers by the thousands. They don't ask for much, they just, all they want is a bit of heat, moisture and some food now and again and they're really happy. Uh, we need to go in there and, and make sure they've, they've um, got some squirts of water to keep the humidity up which helps them helps their life cycle move along quite quickly but unfortunately when we take people in there as much as we're quite proud to show off our beetles <laughs> um, there is a smell that's associated with them and a lot of people don't really like that very much and um, they usually go in all very excited and they can't wait to get out so that's why we're basically talking and hearing <laughs>